Hey guys, so I've been working on this uh, hybrid trailer track for the last couple days and uh, I haven't had, you know, all the time to give it uh, my complete attention. I whipped it together fairly quickly, uh, but I got it sounding pretty huge now. So I'm, you know, I thought it would be cool to make a, a quick tutorial just about how I threw it together using a, you know, a fairly basic approach of just like blending samples and synths. Now, uh, before I play the track, I just want to throw it out there quickly that um, I actually sampled a bunch of sounds from my previous trailer tracks that I've been uh, writing over the last year or so, and I'm going to be giving those away in a free pack that you can download from my website. I'll put that link in the description below. Um, hit that up if you want. I'd be really stoked if you used it. Um, I'm going to show you how I make my own life easy by just uh, by using it and you know because so much of the work I do in these types of tracks is just like sample blending tweaking uh, morphing uh, sound design uh, throwing everything all together into a big pot until it just sounds like uh, huge and, and gigantic so I thought it would be cool if I gave some of those sounds away for free and uh, if you wanted to use them and mess with them and, and uh, do whatever you know that that would be great I would be stoked on that so anyway here's how the track sounds so far So let's talk about the risers just for a second. Now, um, I think risers are obviously just so important to trailer music because the whole idea with trailer music uh, is, you know, you're building and releasing tension the whole time. And um, I think one technique that I really enjoy using with risers is uh, chopping them up to give them some rhythmic interest. Uh, and as you can see, that's what I do I've done here with this riser. Um, and uh, what I'm gonna do here is just gonna solo uh, these guitars, this uh, riser, and, and the drums, and you'll get a better idea of what I'm talking about here. So you see what I mean? And then on the second half of this section, I've added in um, two regular risers uh, just to give it even more uh, of a ramp up towards the climax, and uh, you'll hear that in the second half. So yeah, I think the idea is just to be as creative as you can with risers because on their own, they can just kind of sound bland, um, chopping them up and uh, is just kind of provides a little bit more of like uh, ear candy and, uh, and rhythmic movement to the whole idea. Okay, so let's talk about the synth part um, in, the, in the, the chorus section or like the, you know, the main climax section. Um, I got a bunch of layers here and, uh, you know, just to give it like a ton of power and, um, and vibe. So, uh, I'll, I'll just kind of solo these one by one and you get an idea of, uh, of how this is put together. Um, I started off with like, sort of, uh, like a high end sort of, uh, uh, synth sound. It sounds like this using the Azer X, um, <clears throat> trailer synth. Then I used outputs exhale to double that. In the last half, I used the Metropolis Arcs low strings to give it some, you know, bottom end. And then I added in some uh, some solo cellos and uh, and some strings, and I rolled off all the lows and just to give it like a ton of like bite on the top end. Used a, a different patch in the Azeric synth. And then I top it off with uh, the Hexeract synth. So um, this one sounds pretty mean. It sounds all together, it sounds like this.
and in the track. So yeah, sounding pretty beefy. Um, I like to layer a lot, um, especially with synths. So one thing I do pretty much at the beginning of every trailer track is just sort of set the scene with like uh, ambient sort of textures. And um, in this case, I, I, I just kind of like uh, spread sub hits throughout the initial section just to kind of give it some depth. Um, and uh, these are sub hits that I've, uh, I'm using for my own pack. They sound really cool and um, they just sort of sound like this on their own. I try not to use the same one over and over again, um, and sometimes I'll use uh, one or two on top of each other, uh, d depending on the situation. Um, and yeah, in this case, I've just kind of grabbed a bunch of like textural uh, guitar ambient samples from from Splice, and on top of the track, they just you know they just sound like this. They just give a little bit more you know initial sort of impact. So yeah, nothing too crazy there, uh, just sort of setting the scene. Okay, so another essential component of uh, trailer music are the Brahms, which are basically just um, huge blasts of energy um, to accentuate, you know, uh, the, the start of a section, or you can do it like also halfway through a section, and like they just sound like this. And I like to combine several Brahms. Um, there's um, there's a million of these on like Splice that you can download. There's like uh, so many uh, so many great packs. Um, these ones came from the Audio Imperia uh, label, and they sound like this. So essentially, I have like two um, two like very beefy Brahms, and then I have like a low growl on its own uh, that sounds like this. So again, I think it just comes down to layering um, uh, to give things like a lot of body and, uh, and energy. So as for the drums in this track, um, this section actually looks quite a bit smaller than it normally would because what I did is I, uh, I just imported my own drum loops into this session. Um, and yeah, these are just, this is just, you know, a sample from, uh, from previous tracks that I've worked on. And uh, I was going to throw some loops into the pack that I have on my website right now, um, but I actually decided to wait, hold up on that and just like uh, spend more time making awesome loops. And I'm going to release that as a separate pack. So if, uh, if, you're, if that's something that you'd be interested in, uh, please uh, sign up to my mailing list and uh, keep up to date. I'm going to release that as a free pack uh, down the road very soon. Um, but uh, regardless, this is how it sounds on its own. It's just one, it's just one track here and the drums... Uh, the drum loop sounds like this. So yeah, that's just a combination of you know many different uh, drum libraries um, uh, and samples blended together, and and it's, and it's like compressed and mastered. And you know, I just brought that stem in here, and um, that just worked for me for this track. So. Um, again, please, uh, yeah, stay in touch with me if you if you want um, that free that free loop pack because I am going to release that fairly soon. So I think it's so important to add just like a lot of um, interesting embellishments on top of uh, on top of the tr like the the drum track, which is you know basically just like a repeating pattern on its own. It might sound a little bit repetitive and boring, um, and you know so I add a ton of interesting stuff just peppered throughout it, just to just you know and not even crazy loud in the mix. It's just in there. It's like a, a subtle amount, but it just adds some diversity to to the to the rhythm. Now, I have damage doing these like big metallic sort of hits. Um, I got like, you know, and then just small samples, like a quick hit, um, two cymbal rolls, uh, like, and a cymbal swell, um, and another big metallic hit at the front. And it just sounds like this on its own.
that type of layering just adds so much flavor to the track. Um, and it doesn't have to be a lot, but uh, you know, just a tasteful addition here and there just uh, will really add a lot of movement to the track. So as for the final mix, uh, I kept things super simple. Um, I just have a, uh, a FabFilter Pro multiband compressor right off the top which is just kind of managing um, my low end and boosting my high end ever so slightly. And um, I have an SSL bus compressor, which I have um, a slow attack on uh, right now because I want those transients and those big you know, uh, hits to sort of smash through. And um, I try to keep things to like, you know, four or less decibels of compression using the SSL bus compressor. I really don't want to over compress things and squash it all. Um, I got my release set at 1.2. Um, as you can see, you know, you, you, I'm really not hitting it that that hard. And we'll just play the chorus. And you see what I mean. So I usually try to aim for about four or less. You know, and sometimes usually just like about three, and that sounds fine to me. And then finally, I have the uh, the Ozone 8 uh, mastering plugin. Um, and uh, I usually just for orchestral and like hybrid, you know, uh, or tracks like this, I just try to, you know, I usually pick the uh, Brighton overall mix preset and then I do some just like some uh, some tweaking because that can make it sound quite brittle. So um, in this case, I think I just lowered the, uh, the, the top end a little bit uh, with a dynamic EQ and I think I and probably made some minor adjustments with this EQ as well and things are sounding pretty good. Uh, before I do those final tweaks with the um, with the mix with the stereo out, I usually try to to get my samples uh, sounding pretty nice and do some you know I'll do some minor EQ adjustments to them if anything's bothering me. Um, in this case, this track is actually like quite straightforward. It, it it looks like there's a lot of stuff going on here, but it it's actually really really thin. I mean, there's there's just like uh, there's just, yeah basically just you know samples peppered in here throughout for interest um, and. Uh, and yeah, I try to keep things as simple as possible. Um, that's sort of my rule of thumb whenever I work on tracks, because uh, you know you throw too much stuff at the wall, and then it just gets uh, it just gets really confusing really fast. So um, anyway, I hope you found this um, helpful, and uh, I, I guess I could have you know gone uh, more in depth on some things, but wanted to keep this uh, kind of short and sweet. But if there's anything that you'd like me to expand uh, expand upon next time, uh, please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments. Um, and if you have any questions, hit me up. And as always, um, reach out to me by email uh, and let me know how you're doing. Let me know what you're working on. Um, I'm always stoked to hear from you. Uh, thanks so much for listening. We'll see you next time.